What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle. Hope everyone's having a good day. Today we're doing another Pokemon opening. We are opening up this Detective Pikachu. They call this a lunchbox. Um, this is actually the first time I've opened one of these lunchbox kind of things. <clears throat> um, however, they're by no means new. Uh, I feel like they usually come with a lot of sort of random stuff like pencils and stuff like that uh, I kind of look at this this thing is basically just a really big tin um, one thing that is nice that drew me to it is that this does have seven detective Pikachu booster packs um, as well as two Sun and Moon packs that does look like they are kind of like uh, maybe Guardians Rising and Crimson Invasion which hopefully is not the case um, and we'll see what else kind of stuff is in there my initial thoughts are um, yeah it's just a big tin and hopefully it can store cards uh, better than the other ones um, and uh, I do like the decals on the side, kind of like all these Pikachu silhouettes. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't mind if, uh, I don't know, if there were other tins that basically had that similar kind of thing. I just feel like it's a really cool aesthetic. Uh, so, um, let's get into this box. Alright, so it does have a very simple locking mechanism that, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool. And so, this is what it looks like inside. Ooh. All right, so we have another one of those plastic coins that I'm not crazy about. Uh, the the other one that has like the full metal one, I think it's really cool. And oh, okay, this is a pretty cool pin. I feel like they come up with pretty cool emblems for the um, for the movie. I think this one has a hat again, but I would really like this Pikachu magnifying glass kind of like clue kind of thing. And so we have our movie packs. And then a Crimson Invasion, and then Guardians Rising. Okay, so that's what they kind of said on the cover. And then we have some stickers. Yeah, I do like these Pikachu silhouette things. And looks like it's some, some kind of notepad. And so yeah, these stickers are really nice. Nice touch. And a little notepad that I probably won't use, but that's pretty cool. Crimson Invasion first. Code cards always disorienting me. All right, let's see. We have a darkness energy, counter energy, gastrodom, fighting memory, cube. Oh, that's not one of the, not not one of the better cube bone arts. Shellos, very strange one. Bunnelby, Houndour, Dino, Lusamine Reverse, and then ooh, Alolan Marowak. This is a pretty cool. Uh, when it comes to the little Marowak arts, a lot of them are kind of cartoonish. Um, but this one is pretty... It looks like he's definitely ready to fight, almost a little intimidating. So, not a GX, but I do like that Alolan Marowak art. I do like that that's the... that he's fire type. Uh, I, I've compared the Alolan stuff to the Delta species and that that's one that kind of fits that description. So we've got Altar of the Moon, Mallow, Altar of the Sun, Rockruff, Machop, Flexen, a Trubbish, very good card, Delibird, Jangmo'o, a Wimpod Reverse, and then a Victory Bell. That is a very cool Victory Bell. So it's, uh, it's not shell shading, but it kind of reminds me of it, and uh, he just looks very cool. All right, so no ultra rares there, but um, very. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with those pulls. They got we got some cool cards, and so let's get into these packs. Let's see if we can't get some Charizard, some Mewtwo's, Detective Pikachu's. Good card. Oh. All right, so we got the Charmander. Bulbasaur, nice. Ah, I'm not crazy about this. Charmander's Bulbasaur, but there's no Squirtle. What's up with that? Lickitung, and there's a Lickitung? Come on. <laughs> we got a Ditto. I feel like we've been pulling a lot of those Dittos. I feel like the, the Ditto and the Arcanine are the ones that, like, say, uh, you know, I was hoping for something else, but I'll take it. Let's see. And the next pack. Everything is facing the back, apparently. So, we got a Jigglypuff. Magic Heart. <laughs> this card is so funny. Like, 30 HP. That's from, like, base set days. Magic Heart, and his only attack is hold still. Heal 10 damage from this Pokemon. 
<laughs> it's such a troll card. Morlul, and then, oh, there's that Arcanine. <laughs> it's like, all right, yeah, I got the Arcanine. Sweet. On to the next pack, I guess. Um, so how are you guys liking this Detective Pikachu stuff? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm still a big fan. I feel like they did a good job with all the different stuff. Um, they're putting a lot of hype around the movie. And I feel like it's just an exciting time to be in Pokemon. Um, ooh, Ludicolo. I do like this one. I feel like his ability is quite useful. Uh, but yeah, I feel like it's just a very exciting time. There's a lot going on with these movie packs. And then the movie coming out and Unbroken Bonds coming out in May. And uh, yeah, I feel like they're just doing a good job uh, capitalizing on all the hype. They're doing those uh, things at the stores. They're doing giveaways. They're in different. Uh, I heard there's like special Japanese like secret cards, but I'm not sure how to get them in English or if they're even available. Ooh, Mr. Mime. God, Mr. Mime is so creepy in this set. And uh, yeah, that's a very interesting take <laughs> on like a original 150 Pokemon. All right, let's jump into this Burning Shadows pack. Mix it up. Let's see if we can't get that Rainbow Rare Charge. We had a couple, actually, a, a large number of like close calls. Where it was like, oh my gosh, is this it? Where we see some shining in the back, of the cards are uh, kind of like peeking out, and two Charizards, uh, but they were the regular Ultra Rare, and a couple of Rainbow Rares as well. That like, oh my gosh, I, I thought it was it. So let's see, we got a Panseer, another Magikarp, 30 HP, Alolan Rattata, Wimpod, Oddish, it's just kind of chilling, and then, ooh, Alolan Ninetales. Always a fan of Alolan Ninetales, even when it's only a regular rare. Alright, so we still got three more packs. Come on, let's get a, let's get a Charizard. And uh, how, how are you guys doing finishing your your movie set? Um, I feel like I'm moving a little slowly and it's taking a good amount of product to get there. So uh, let me know what your experience is opening this stuff and how long it's taking to get some of those chase cards. Man, we have a lot of Greninjas. Although Greninjas look so cool in the movie. I'm pretty sure he's the, the or I've seen like, it looks like there's like a couple of them. I'm not sure if they're just like security or uh, almost like they're like an experiment or something, but they feel like they're the bad guys. <laughs> or I get the, the vibe that they're not, that they're like the main characters going to be running away from them. All right, so we got two packs left. We got a Lickitung. Actually, let's see here. do this code card real quick. I guess one nice thing about these uh, lunch boxes is that there are a lot of codes to give out. A Jigglypuff. Another Magikarp. Ooh, nice. Mewtwo. Very solid hit right there. Uh, 130 HP. And then Psyjack, which you can't use in attack. I feel like this could be useful. I mean, there are some Pokemon that only have one attack, and that would be really annoying. And Or like a lot of tag teams that have might have an attack and then the GX attack, so you just get rid of that one. Or if they already use their GX, especially. And then the Break Burn. Uh, I'm never too crazy about those discard, especially when it's two energies. Um, so you have to have some kind of accelerant to use it consecutive times or consecutive turns. So let's go into our last pack, hoping for that Charizard. Would be awesome. All right, let's see. We got a Psyduck, Morlul. This is like interesting one. Snubble. I do like the 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 way they did Snubble. And then ooh, I don't like. This is actually a card that I feel like. Is pretty good so it's a lot of energy um, but you in unbroken bonds you will be able to use that triple ascent accelerator and uh, yeah or just two DCEs on this guy which is a lot of energy but at least it's colorless uh, for 150 and your opponent switches out their active Pokemon with one of their bench yeah I feel like he's pretty cool the stage 2 obviously holds him back but the fact that 180 HP so he can he could probably take a hit um, potentially without going down and he can hit back pretty hard 
uh, and it's only one prize card when he gets knocked out. So pretty solid in my opinion. Um, so there you guys have it. Uh, pretty good opening. I do like these boxes. Uh, we'll see how well they store cards. I feel like that's the, the X factor for me, how useful the tins actually is after the fact. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed the opening, please do me a favor, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're getting close to 200. Really excited about that. And um, yeah, hit the bell for notifications, follow me on Instagram, and I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.